the circumstances surrounding uh, you being awarded this particular prize? Well, it was last year, uh, summer last year, we had a situation in Gateshead where I work. A lady had gone missing, she'd been missing for a little bit of a long time. Um, and I was called in a searching area of land in the Derwent Valley where we found this lady's vehicle. It was classed as a critical incident. Um, this lady had suffered from mental health issues and it was vital that we found her as soon as possible, really. Um, I searched an area of woodland and uh, I came across a viaduct. It was about 90 foot tall. I thought if this lady is suicidal, uh, if she's jumped off it, then I'm going to be looking for a dead body at the bottom. So I just started searching, basically, and after about an hour, the dog indicated to me that he'd found her by bargain, which was great. And, uh, I mean, Louis is a relatively young dog as well. Yeah, he's a young dog. I've had him um, two years now. Got him from a puppy at about um, two month old, and he's working really well on the streets. And, uh... In real terms, I mean, how long did it take you to train him up to uh, the sort of level to identify a particular problem like that? Yeah, um, well, he was very young to get licensed, to be honest. He was on the streets at 11 months old, which is uh, it's quite good for a police dog. Is that unusual? Yeah, they're usually a little bit older than that, but uh, he was doing everything in training, and the instructor thought he was safe, he was working effectively, put him on the street to gain experience. And uh, all in all, I mean, the rewards of uh, being recognised for your work together, I mean, must be... Uh, great for you. Oh, yeah. You must be delighted to yeah, be involved. Yeah, it's just great to uh, get a little bit of recognition. You know, you do so much with the dogs and uh, dog section. You know, it's great. I love, I love working with the dog. And I think the one thing about these dogs is that most people probably think that police dogs are quite scary animals, but really, it's yeah. like any other dog. No, I mean, in a particular way. I've been lucky. Not all police dogs are approachable, but I've been lucky in the ones I've had. He switches off when he goes home. I've got two little lads and a wife, you know. He's fine and uh, take them out for walks just like any other dog. So he's at home really like a pet? He, he still lives in a kennel out the back, he doesn't come in the house at all, but um, you know, we'll go down the park with him and he totally switches off when he's not at work, so, but when I put my uniform on, say, come on Louis, going to work, switches on, like I say, he's had some really good results on the street.